There are thousands of quotes encouraging people to not just complain about life, but instead do something about it. That's right, and that's what South Carolina's Department of Transportation and the city of Spartanburg are asking drivers to do when it comes to issues on the roads. 7 News reporter Tatiana Cash spoke with them about traffic issues within the city. Last week, I told you about South Carolina Department of Transportation telling drivers to call a toll-free number for help with traffic light issues in the county. Now, this week, I'll show you how using the app Hey Spartanburg can help shed light on traffic issues within Spartanburg city limits. 7 News timed the traffic light at WOEZL Boulevard and Dormant Center Drive. Those driving straight get an average of about a minute 30 from red to red, but turning only gets 15 seconds from green to red. Too short, so it can turn green, and then if you want to get through, it easily just turns red, just like that. If we get consistent complaints about a light, um, we'll go to our traffic consultant, and um, we may do a traffic study on the light. The city of Spartanburg's communications and marketing manager, Christopher George, has his work cut out for him since comments about WOEZL and Dorman Center light are less than flattering. It is dangerous in my opinion. Uh, I stay pretty close and so I come to this shopping center quite a bit. I try to avoid it. If I'm coming down here, mm -hmm. I'm either going down that way, going towards um, Walmart to mm -hmm. take that intersection, mm -hmm. Or I'm either going behind Red Crab to take that intersection. I got to go all the way around, but it's better than going to that intersection. Though the intersection is within city limits, Spartanburg must work with SCDOT since the on and off ramp of I-26 are close by and causing heavier traffic flows. Thus, drivers like Trellis Samples and Terrence Foster aren't thrilled with the signal, but like many, did not know speaking up could start a change. Did you know that you can actually call and complain about the light? Are you for real? Kid you not. Okay, well, I'm going to give him a call then. I didn't even know nobody was really paying no attention. I just thought it was me. I just kind of just come and go and don't really think about it. George says that if there are enough complaints, a traffic study will happen, but any changes will cause a domino effect on WOEZL. You wanted to add five seconds to this. You would have to do some. You would have to add something or subtract something from the light, from both of the the lights that going down. You'd have to, else or else they're out of time, and you have more backup at one of them. But he adds, complaints that bring about change aren't unheard of because it happened just a few years ago. The East Main intersection in front of the new Spartanburg High School. We had to work with DOT there to install a um, median to prevent some left turns because there was a lot of problems with folks backed up at that light waiting to turn left and things like that. The WOEZL Dorman Center signal detector is based off an underground timing system that determines when vehicles stop and go. If someone's not paying attention at the light, and if you're not paying attention and the sensors underneath the road don't sense wheels going over them, the timer will tick off. It won't reset, and so you'll get a shorter light than you would have normally because the uh, traffic signal itself isn't detecting a number of cars to extend the time. The city of Spartanburg is keeping an eye out for complaints about the intersection at WOEZL Boulevard and Dorman Center, and others like it, on their mobile app, Hey Spartanburg. So if you want change, speak up. Tatiana Cash, 7 News. Hey, that app, Hey Spartanburg, is now available on the city's website, the iTunes and Android app stores, and we've also included it in Tatiana's story on WSPA.com. Just look for that, and there's a link within there.